Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading for the 26th of November till the 2nd of December. And it's going to be a general one, so please take what resonates and let the rest go. Uh, let's welcome in now the beautiful high frequency archangels, ascended masters, light beings, spirit guides, our higher selves, and of course Lady Isis to assist us with this reading. And yeah, okay. uh, Taurus, let's just see what wants to jump out now for the centre of your reading. All right, we have the hanged man. Okay, so taking some time out, we'll just grab another card as well. Okay, and the Queen of Cups. Taurus, so it's looking like you maybe you're taking some time out here to really go inward, looking at your emotional life. Maybe you're contemplating your spirituality. You might be looking into your intuition, maybe your creativity or an art form. Uh, yeah, which is these two energies together are really nice. Uh, let's see what else is coming in around that. Wow, Taurus, what's driving this is you're wanting to uh, come into a greater awareness and probably activating also your inner resources. Okay, and this is suggesting that you have a lot here. You are an earth sign, so you're very grounded um, and you are the fixed earth sign. So you are really connected to Gaia, which is going to have um, benefits. Okay, so in terms of as Gaia is ascending, you're perhaps picking up on these energies, but I think you are really uh, grounding into them in a way that's, you know, quite transformational here for you. The hanged man is also the energy of letting go and surrendering. And um, it could even be that you're surrendering to your own divine feminine aspect a lot more, which is that receptive energy. So maybe you're picking up on earth energies or being really sensitive to energies around you at this time. And coming from the past, we have the three of cups, really lovely celebratory energy, sharing good times with friends, family uh, or, you know, like minded people, basically, um, which is really lovely. And um, yeah. So spirit suggesting to, yeah, keep um, tapping into that. And here we have the three of wands. So Taurus, you've already achieved quite a bit and you're now looking at what the next phase is going to be. And I think a lot, many of us, as we come through these portal energies, are definitely feeling like a new season or a new phase is beginning now as we move through those energies because we have... Received a lot of, you know, upgrades and, um, yeah, probably some energetic downloads and a lot of, he you know, healing as well we've received there. Um, yeah, which is awesome. Two of Cups, also really beautiful energy in your opportunity here, Taurus. So could be definitely an opportunity for you to come into contact with your higher self in a more intimate way. And I say that because you have the Queen of Cups here paying attention to your emotions in your inner life. Uh, but this could also be about maybe you are looking into, you know, perhaps a new relationship as well. Let's see your current energy. Okay, so at the moment you might be, you know, maybe you're feeling feeling the pinch at the moment or there's something going on around you that is, um, I guess, not conducive to feelings of abundance. Okay. Um, your higher self is certainly uh, on board with you. Uh, your abundance and tapping into that okay so let's see what else wow the chariot so the environment this is in your environment so this could be your spirit guides around you at the moment Taurus and maybe maybe you will be coming into contact with them and that could be you know what this is about here maybe you'll have a, be an opportunity for you to come into contact with one of your uh, spirit guides or to have a sense or a stronger idea of what that might be. It might even be like a galactic collective or, you know, an ascended master or a particular spirit guide uh, of yours or even an aspect of your own higher self that's really going to step up there and help you. Uh, wow, the fall. So this is your goal, I think, uh, Taurus, and I think you are wanting to probably... Um, relieve a lot of the burden this is, can be a burdensome card as well but it can also be one of <clears throat> for whatever reason not perhaps being able to um, see or grasp or take hold of uh, maybe assistance that's, that's around for you or some um, opportunity there that maybe you're missing possibly but, you know, your higher self, I think, you know, eventually something's going to fall into place here for you because your higher self 
um, and your you know inner resources. You've got some really powerful cards here: Chariot and the Magician and the Hanged Man, Mike Boom, uh, and also the Fall. So this is about you really trusting the universe, um, moving into bliss, even accessing your inner child. Very similar theme to Capricorn. So maybe doing some um, you know inner child. Basically, whatever you love to do as a child, maybe revisiting that or discovering some new things that you like to do. Wow, the lovers. Um, so you have the lovers and the two of cups here. This can be about you coming into contact with your higher self, coming into a greater awareness of yourself, which is what the queen of cups is suggesting here at the center as well, as well as your hanged man. Um, and also, you know, combining the, your own divine feminine and divine masculine aspects. Okay, um, so if you feel that you're more predominant in one than the other, so if you feel that you're quite masculine in the way that you do things, maybe activating or doing some feminine type of activities, which is about being receptive, being in flow, doing something creative um, without overthinking it, without, you know, overstructuring it, without, um, you know, overanalyzing and that type of thing. Um, and just being really gentle. Um, if you look, if you feel that you already do a lot of that, and you're looking to kind of really move, push out into the world, and to activate yourself uh, in the world to actually maybe offer your skills, then it might be about, um, I guess, developing your your confidence, maybe your communication skills, maybe looking to um, mix with like-minded people, so you get that um, extra practice. So that will that would enable you, in theory, to move into the more masculine aspect um, of of the projective energy of taking out into the world whatever it is that you're wanting to share with everyone. Okay, um, so that's a really beautiful card to finish on there. Let's look at the bottom of the deck as well. Queen of Wands, awesome Taurus. You are looking to be authentic, to be yeah, um, basically to be unafraid to be yourself. So maybe you are looking to kind of activate this divine masculine aspect which does kind of gel it kind of vibes with the chariot here about pushing forward about moving outward uh so it, this could be a case taurus of you know if you've tended to do things on your own quite a bit and many of us have okay that maybe it's time to um just even find one or two you know, like small very simple opportunities or things that you can maybe share your interests with someone else or with a small group of people it doesn't have to be anything you know major or in a big way it's just something small that will help you to take that next step um, of maybe sharing what you have with the world because i think yeah this is about your you have a lot of inner resources here taurus i think maybe you feel like you have a lot to share um and you know you have it within you to move into this celebratory energy here as well like sharing with others and maybe using that as a way to share all of this inner wisdom and knowledge and um you know creativity intuition intuitive abilities whatever it is that you have to offer there uh, the queen of wands is definitely looking to the future and she is unafraid to be herself and to speak out and i feel like that's the energy you are moving into taurus if you haven't started already you will be soon and yeah it's just it's looking really great and positive for you let's just quickly clarify the five of cups the uh, pentacles there for you just to make sure we might grab a couple of cards around that for guidance but yeah, that fall is also about taking that leap of faith. Okay. Wow, the tower. Okay, so this might just be a point of realization where you go, okay, um, I need to find some people that I can do my thing with and share. And here we have the Empress. So that's a really beautiful healing energy to move into. Divine feminine as well. Okay. So moving into being open to I guess allowing other people to come in on your energy, um, um, allowing other people to be in your space to share those um, things with you that you have to share. And this is also, you know, it's about abundance. So it's about sharing and receiving the abundant benefits of that. Uh, and yeah, earth connection, you know, very earthy card, the Empress. So it might be about going out in nature as well for you, Taurus, just doing something out in nature. And um, here we have the two of swords, yeah. Going within to just work out what it is and how it is that you are going to be sharing what you know. You have so many, so much here to offer, so much inner wisdom here, uh, Taurus, that I feel that, you know, 
eventually you will it will merge and that the environment around you uh, will be conducive as we have the cherry here in your environment it's saying yet yeah, spirit guides and others will come around you and your high self and the high self of, of others that you meet will start to vibe and resonate and things will be all good and yeah knight of cups this is on the bottom of the deck so this is about loving yourself okay self love we have the lovers okay uh, the Two of Cups, which is all about love and intimacy and loving yourself enough here, Taurus, to allow yourself to believe in yourself to move out into the world here. If you aren't already, okay, if you started to do that, this is confirmation for you to um, keep going. So I think we might wrap it up there. Um, yeah, because uh, see here, you are definitely looking at moving out into the world now. What's the next thing you're going to be doing and sharing? And yeah. We will wrap it up there. Hope that's been helpful. I look forward to the next reading. In the meantime, have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.